It's showtime. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nita, your favorite diva, and I'm back for another movie review. The movie that I'm reviewing for you today is The Last Duel. It is directed by Sir Ridley Scott. If you don't know his filmography, and because it's so vast, and because it's so... Let me run it down for you. He is responsible for the Alien franchise, Gladiator, Blade Runner 2049, The Martian, Thelma and Louise, American Gangster, G.I. Jane, Need I Say More? powerhouse um he's made some missteps uh uh currently <laughs> but baby the beginning of the career on point N this true to form it is written in, written by matt damon and ben affleck can you believe it uh the last time they wrote together was a uh, goodwill hunting and that movie actually won two oscars so that's great too right and alongside nicole holofencer and she has written can you ever forgive me and with melissa mccarthy and i don't know if you've seen the movie but the movie was really really good really good so it's starring matt damon ben affleck adam driver and jody comer 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 it is classified as an action drama in history two hours and 32 minutes that's a whopping two hours and 32 minutes <laughs> and the movie is based off of true events king charles the sixth declares that the knight jean de Rouge, played by matt damon settled his dispute which is the rape of his wife lady marguerite played by jody Cummer, with his squire jacques leclore Adam Driver's character by challenging him to a duel. And that is all I'm going to say because this is your spoiler free review. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. If you're returning, you know what we do. I watch movies so you don't have to. I'll tell you the good, bad, and a little bit of everything in between and let you know whether or not you should know or go see it in theaters, which it is in theaters right now. So, let's get with the good. This is a medieval drama that Sir Ridley Scott has crafted. It is full of excellent performances, most notably by Jodie Comer. And she plays, from, you might remember her, the crazy girl from Killing Eve. Oscar worthy performance, hands down um it has enough gruesome action in it mixed with the dramatic elements that completely engrosses you for the complete runtime of this movie so yes it's a little long yes it's a little tedious yes all of these things but it's so compelling you just gotta watch it for yourself First and foremost, I want to give you all a, a trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. There is a brutal and surprisingly long sexual assault rape sequence that happens not once, but twice. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, trigger warning if you're not in the right place where you can kind of watch something like this then i just want to make sure i let you know so you can protect your peace and protect your energy at all costs which brings me to my most important commentary on this movie you, i said this is one of the most important movies of this year showing the disgusting ideologies held by men this is an examination from 600 years ago with gender politics and toxic masculinity 
that drives to a gut-wrenching finale that it, it draws a direct parallel to 2021 to the modern day era and how men look at women and how men treat women so baby this movie has something to say it has some great lines in there oh my god like i don't want to spoil it but i mean it's like things like deny 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 um there is one other i'm gonna say it and because i have to say it sexual assault or rape is not a crime against the woman it is against the husband i was, I was like Lord, me and the girl that I was sitting in with my the screening baby, we was looking at each other like what? What the fuck, baby? That is a mess. While I think the movie did not have much nuance, like I said, they were hitting lines like that. Um, you don't need nuance in tackling this issue. Um. I'm glad it didn't have any nuance in it. It didn't need it. I don't think the subject matter deserves nuance. Um, I didn't feel that it beat you over the head either. I think that you really need to say it louder for the cheap seats in the back. Picture that. I'm just sitting up there like, um, nuance. I'm like, no, we don't need no nuance. We don't, we don't need no nuance. Say it louder because we're still talking about this in 2021. P.O. Cosby, R. Kelly, fuck out of here. Shit, <laughs> got <laughs> my around, got me bad. Um, the movie tells this tale, um, in a three um, chapter uh, structure. Uh, it's kind of like uh, gives each person their point of view and how they saw the events. And there's a name for this structure. I think it's called Rashomon. Rashomon. If I can find it, I'll put it up there to give you a reference. Um, a very effective way to tell this story. Because you know sexual assault is about somebody's word. So how better to demonstrate this and depict this story is by showing everybody's point of view and how they you know show their character develop their character what type of person they are and all of these things it was perfect i thought the, the story structure was genius um certainly gives much care in the nuance in the slightly changing of the narrative in each telling based on the character um what the person is going through what the person uh, his character flaws their character flaws and and um their ego and, and 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 if they're in a good um you know he was able to craft and and direct them in a manner to slightly stare in a different way uh sh uh like giving eyes and how the person interpreted the eyes but it wasn't even like that so it was just really really good uh, the cinematography was excellent the set design score costumes everything money well spent this movie was over a hundred million dollars to make that's why i want to tell everybody to go see it but why would they put it up against halloween anyway just go see the movie go support the movie um, if you are comfortable going to the movie theaters. So, yes. Um, the Bad. Not really The Bad for me. It was just the pacing in the second act. Because I told you how to, they have the Rashomon structure, story structure. So, um, Adam Driver and Jody Cummers' telling was very, very similar. And so, when you're telling those story beats it feel good. just telling a story three times in itself is gonna mess with the pacing so that's going to be um that's gonna be expected 
I said that maybe some of the stuff that was kind of parallel, you probably didn't have to show it the second time. But you know what? At the end of the day, no. Because the last one, the last talent was Jodie Cummers. So no, we don't want to take away from her voice. The woman needs her voice and her point of view deserves to be seen just as Matt Damon and Adam Driver, right? Right. So, um, so before I give you my overall thoughts on The Last Duel, why don't you take a moment and follow me on my social media right there. So my overall thoughts for The Last Duel, I really, really love this movie just for the social commentary alone. It was expertly crafted um, with equal voices throughout the film. I can definitely know, I, look, it, as sure as this lipstick is red on my lips, I know that there's gonna be a huge de demographic of men not liking this and being able to find and poke holes in it. But baby, when I tell you this was a epic a masterpiece i give the last duel four and a half out of five stars and definitely say go see it so for my diva recommendations i don't have any diva recommendations i hope you enjoyed my review um did, are, are you interested in the last duel like when i saw the trailer i was like oh it's giving game of thrones i want to go but when I watched it again, I was like, oh, it's about that. I was like, oh, wow. So, you know, I really just had to like really focus on what what the story was, what the narrative was. Um, but, you know, all they had to do was say, really, Scott? And I would say, okay. So what did you think about it? Are you going to see it? Let me know. Have you seen it? Let me know down in the comments. What did you think about it? Do you think that they were heavy handed in the messaging or not? Nah? Let me know. As always, I'm Nita, your favorite diva. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let the diva know you stopped by. Hey, you know what? Why y'all not subscribing? Everybody watching my videos, but they not subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. The button right there all right anyway i'll keep on cranking out these reviews and hopefully you'll keep coming back all right you guys bye